Sorry about that. Woo. 9.45 can definitely sneak up on you, right? Welcome to chapel, everybody. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not one of those guys that's going to be like, okay, let's try it again. I always thought that was lame. A lot of people do that. But anyways, welcome. I need you all to stand up for me. Is Miss April all right? Is everything okay with Miss April? Okay, just checking. <laughs> Thought we had a crash or something. Let's take our right hand. You want to wave, everybody? How are you? Good. Good. You know what to say, Alina? All right, here's Alina with the American flag. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Vivon? Vivon. This is Mr. Vivon. He's got the Christian flag. Attention, salute, pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen and coming again with life everlasting for all who believe. All right, Nadia. Here's Miss Nadia with the Bible. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I'll make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Thank you so much. I'll take, I'll take the Bible. You guys know exactly. You can uh, hang my flags up right there. All right. We've got a very special day today with our chapel service. It is, of course, the last chapel of February. That's good. That means next week's going to be what? March. Maybe we'll have to do this little light of mine since we're going to have it in March. <laughs> Speaking of music, all right, listen. Speaking of music, I do want to do a little shout out to my daughter, Aria, who's not feeling well today, so she's going to be watching online. So, hi, sweetheart. I was thinking yesterday, I always take my kids to swim class on Tuesdays. Does anybody do swim lessons in here? You take swim lessons? Anybody do gymnastics lessons? Oh, my goodness. Anybody do soccer lessons? Oh, my. Oh. Anybody do basketball lessons? Anybody do piano lessons? Man, you guys are all going to be like the most talented adults I've ever seen. All right, listen. So the majority of my life uh, in the afternoons is just taking my kids back and forth to different lessons and practices and all these things. So one thing that we do is we like to listen to music in the car. Do you guys like to listen to your parents' music? Or do your parents listen to like boring stuff and you just want to tune it out? Yeah. All right. So here's what. Shh, all right. All right. So what I have done uh, is I have taken a lot of the songs that we actually do in chapel and I created a playlist on my Spotify. And so it's so fun to sing and listen to the songs that we actually do here in chapel. And when we actually sing one of them, I get like super excited. So what I've done today, and I usually don't do this, I'm not big about going out into the audience, but I'm gonna give it a shot right now. If you have a favorite song that you do in chapel, if you get, I, I made a little list of seven of them. If you can name one of the seven that I have on my list, I'll give you a little piece of candy. So does anybody have a favorite? So I'll do raised hands. I'll do raise my hands, my hands. Are you doing? Like I said, I don't like going in the audience much. This is weird. All right, here's Miss Allie. What, what's your favorite chapel song? Fix my eye. Fix my eye, eye, eyes on you, on you. We're actually going to sing that today. Congratulations, Allie. All right, that's one of them. That's one on my list. Anybody else have one? 
What do you got, Nolan? What's your favorite chapel song? Uh oh. That's the same one. That's the same one. That one's already been called. How about over here, Emma? Emma, do you have a favorite chapel song? Walk on Water. Walk on Water's on here. I got that. Down to the, is that walk, is that down to the river? Are we right? Are we awesome? Okay, well, cool, 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 cool. How about, I'm going to get my workout today. Camilla, what's your favorite chapel song? Uh, real Love. This is Real Love. This is on my list, actually. Good. Y'all like some of the same songs I do. That's cool. How about Lucas Camber? Lucas, what's your favorite chapel song? I thank God. I thank God. That one? That's a good one. It's not on my list, though. Do, 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 do. Yes. Mia Fowler. Mia. I don't know if I can get to you. This is a weird spot. Mia, what's your favorite chapel song? Indescribable. Indescribable. That's a good one. It's not on my list, though. It's not on my list. What's up? Say hey, everybody. I got time for one or two more. What's your favorite chapel song? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord? That's good. Not on my list, but it's a good one. How about Christina? Favorite chapel song? Light and light shine. Let your light shine. Let your light shine? Is that the... the oh, okay, yes. I, that's one of my favorites. Maybe we'll do that next week, but it's not on my list. How about Mr. Kiyosak? Um, We're going down to the river. Down to the river. I think we got... The, oh, that's walk on water. Uh, down to the river is the... Yes. That is on mine. That is on mine. Did somebody say Mr. Farley has his hand raised? Mr. Farley, what's your favorite chapel song? I think it's yours. Is it the dun 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 Is that dance? Dance, dance. dance I'm alive. That's it. Yeah, that is one. That's on here. You get a nice mint. You got one, Andy? The goodness. The goodness? The goodness is the goodness, but it's not on my good list. All right, well, I got some good answers. That's good. I had We Are Royals. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, wake. No, how, how's Wake go? You're in my heart forever. Yeah, I like that one a lot. This is our time. This is our place. I got that one, too. All right, well, very cool. That was fun. That was more fun than I thought it would be. I got my workout running around with the mic. Uh, let's do, do me a favor. Y'all help me out. Let's point to Kent. I had him on the guitar. Everybody. Oh. Oh, he's on, he's on TV. Oh. Everybody wave to Ken. Say good morning, Ken. Ken, Ken has been getting real chummy with Alex lately. What, what, you two conspiring on me? Are y'all trying to hang out too much? Are you two starting a podcast? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Funny. All right, well, that's all we got for this morning. Who's ready to do some worshiping? I am. Let's all get to our feet. I'd rather slip walking on water than spend my life wondering what. Lord, if it's you, tell me to come. Cause you alone can tame the wildest wind. I know I can make it, cause it was your voice that I heard. I'm stepping out, I'm stepping out on your word. This is how you walk, how you walk on water. One foot in front of the other. Never gonna let you go under. Just put one foot in front of the other. Okay. <laughs> I 
got a faith Deeper than feelings Cause I know a name It's greater than the storm I got a God Who never ever fails me He's close enough to catch me If I fall I know I can make it Cause it was your voice that I heard So I'm stepping out How you walk, how you walk on water, one foot Come on, show it Stepping, I'm stepping out on your word. I'm stepping, I'm stepping out on your word. I'm stepping, I'm stepping out on your word. I'm stepping, I'm stepping out, stepping out. I'm stepping, I'm stepping out, stepping out. Sing his praise. 
Chapel music has come a long way since, since I was a little boy. I just remember singing, I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-E-S-T, I-A-N, and I will C-H-R-E-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T, and I will L-I-V-E-E-E-A-L-L-L-L-Y. <laughs> that was the way I always sang that. But no, for real, you guys are, it just, I like get teary-eyed watching you guys during chapel, like getting into the motions and just worshiping. It's so awesome. I'm so excited. Speaking of excited, let's pray. I want to talk to God this morning. I got third grade's got the theme and the message this week. Is there a third grader who wants to pray this morning? You're not in third grade, no, you me, Gloosh Jack. <laughs> you are up. Aiden Alexander, do you want to pray, Aiden? I'm going to let Aiden Alexander pray. Awesome. I'm going to keep my Bible. Might need it. All right, let's all bow our heads. Let's close our eyes. Let's talk to the Lord. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for all of our food and water. And amen. Amen. All right, tuck in your shirt. All right, guys, we have a very special uh, guest speaker this morning. He's been, uh, he's talked to us a few times, actually. He's one of the pastors at New Life Church, and he's also... The dad of Charlotte and Amy, who are out in our crowd. So let's give a big FCS lower school welcome to Pastor Vadim Lantuk. <laughs> Well, 
hello, students. Ken brought his ship today. Is that okay? All right. He's got to pull it up right here. He's just going to park it. All right. I don't know if it's going to stay here. What do you think? Is it going to stay? It might swim away. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, Ken, stay right there, okay? You're going to help me share this message, okay? Ken doesn't talk. Well, he does, but not in the microphone, right? All right, guys, so good to see you. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, amazing, amazing. So uh, when Ms. Brown asked if, uh, if I could share today, uh, I said, hey, absolutely, what's the topic? And she said, we've been talking about what? Young disciples, and so I have this question for you. What is discipleship? What is discipleship? You can uh, shout it out on the count of three. One, two, three. Everybody's right. I asked Charlotte, I said, Charlotte, what is discipleship? And uh, she told me, she said, it's following Jesus, right? Uh, and I said, uh, well, why is it called discipleship? Why is it the disciples' ship? You know, Ken has a ship. And I started thinking about, do the, do, do the disciples have a ship? Does anybody know? Does anybody know any other famous ships? I hear Titanic. Yeah, how about... Anybody remember... Okay, Mayflower. Wow, you guys are good. All right, that's enough famous ships. That's enough famous ships. All right, all right, you guys know all your ships. Well, today I want to talk to you about the disciples' ship. Can we talk about the disciples' ship? Yeah. Do you know the disciples have a ship? Yeah, yeah we're going to talk about the disciples' ship. And I want to read a story uh, for us from the Bible. And uh, who loves Bible stories? Okay, we're going to read a story about the disciples' ship. And we're going to learn some lessons uh, from the story. Is that okay? All right, uh, so we're going to start reading together Luke chapter 5. I'm going to read it to you. You guys read along, okay? It says, one day, as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, you guys can read to yourself, yeah? You can read quietly. Thank you. Uh, as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats. Everybody say boats. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge. For the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. And stepping into one of the boats, everybody say one of the boats. Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push it out into the water. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. Okay, imagine this. Anybody ever been to the lake, Lake Lanier? Anybody ever seen boats on Lake Lanier? Imagine Jesus is coming up to the shore, right? Let's pretend that you guys are all in the water. This is the shore. Jesus comes up and he's like, hey, I got to share a message and I need a place to stand up so that everybody can hear me. He sees two boats there and he tells Simon, he says, Simon, let me use your boat. Simon says, no problem. It's all yours. Uh, and and uh, Simon gives him his boat, and Jesus uh, begins to teach from the boat. Let's keep reading, okay? So Jesus teaches from the boat, and then he says, when he had finished speaking, Jesus said to Simon, see, in my mind, I kind of see it like this. You know, uh, when Jesus said, hey, Simon, can I use your boat? Simon had to get in the boat, Jesus had to get in the boat. They had to go out into the water a little bit. And then Jesus kind of turned around. Like I picture Simon sitting, sitting in the boat behind Jesus. And Jesus is teaching, teaching the people. So Jesus finishes teaching the people. And then he turns around to Simon. And he says, Simon, now go out where it's deeper. And let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, Simon replies, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time, everybody say this time. this time. 
Their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. A shout for help brought their partners in the other boat. And soon, both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking. Can you imagine? Jesus teaches the people from a boat, from Simon's boat. Simon becomes one of the disciples, and he's called Peter, right? And Jesus teaches from his boat, and then Simon's listening to Jesus' teaching. Jesus is done. Then he turns to Simon. He says, hey, let's go out into the deep and catch some fish. And Simon's thinking, well, I already tried that. Didn't get any fish. But since you say so, we'll go. And they go out fishing again, and they catch so much fish that the nets are breaking, they had to call their friends to come and help them get all the fish. And then it says that when Simon Peter realized what had happened, that there was this miracle that had happened, he fell on his knees before Jesus and said, Oh, Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. He realized that Jesus wasn't just a person, that Jesus was God. It says he was awestruck by the number of fish they had caught. As were the others with them, his partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, they were also amazed. And then, listen here. Here's what Jesus says to Simon. He says, Simon, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Amy, don't be afraid. Charlotte, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, Simon. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. And then it says, as soon as they landed, as soon as they landed, as soon as they got back to shore, they left everything. Everybody say everything. everything. Even their fish. That's good. You can preach this for me. Even their fish. And they follow Jesus. Okay, and so here's three lessons from the discipleship. And then I want to pray with you, okay? Three lessons from the discipleship. The lessons are about discipleship, about being young disciples of Jesus. But we're using this story of Simon's boat for these lessons. Lesson number one, you ready? Yeah. Disciples listen to Jesus' teaching. Jesus sat on the boat. He taught disciples listen to Jesus' teaching. You guys want to say that together? One, two, three. Great job, guys. All right, that's lesson number one, okay? We got to listen to his voice. We got to learn to hear from him, and we got to read our Bibles, hear from him there. We got to invite him to speak into our hearts and into our lives. Listen to the teachings of Jesus. All right, lesson number two. Who's ready? All right, lesson number two. Disciples obey Jesus' command. Yeah, that's so good. You know, when Jesus turned to Simon, he said, Simon, Take your boat out of the deep to catch some fish. What did Simon do? He said, yes, sir. He said, yes, sir. And so let's say it together. Ready? Disciples obey Jesus' command. One, two, three. Yes, sir. That's right. So the disciples listen to Jesus' teaching. The disciples obey Jesus' command. And here's the most important one. Here's the hardest one especially for us adults. Uh, you kids, you, you can do this easily, but for us, it gets harder. So we're always learning. Okay, y'all ready? Number three, lessons from the disciples' ship. Here we go. Disciples leave everything. Say everything. everything. Even the fish. I like that. To follow Jesus. Here's the amazing thing about this story. Imagine this. Here's a guy who was a fisherman, and he was struggling. Imagine if that your job was to catch fish, and you couldn't do it, and it was hard, and you couldn't pay your bills, and, and, and no fish are getting caught. You're like, what am I going to eat? Uh, another, another day like that. And then, and then you meet this man who comes and teaches and says, go fish, and there's this miraculous catch of fish. And you're like, this isn't just a man. This is the Son of God. What a miracle. And suddenly you've got more fish than you know what to do with. You could sell it all and make a bunch of money. It seems like your business is taking off. You're like, I'm going to be the best fisherman ever because I got Jesus. You know, we're going to catch a lot of fish every day. It's going to be great. But you know what Simon Peter did? 
said as soon as they landed, he took all that fish, he took that miracle, all the stuff that came from God, and he says, even that means nothing. Leave it all behind, even the fish, and follow Jesus. And so that's the lesson that I want us to hear. Disciples leave everything, say everything, everything. to follow Jesus. I'd love to pray with you guys. Can we do that? Can I invite you guys to stand? Yeah? Can everybody stand up? We're going to pray. And we're going to pray that these three lessons, disciples listen to Jesus' teaching, disciples obey Jesus' command, disciples leave everything to follow Jesus, that we would um, not just hear the lesson, but say, hey, we want to apply the lesson, right? Like we want to do what it says. And so what we can do, if you're standing, uh, what I'd love for you to do is just, you can hold your hands out like this. Yeah, hold it out like this. And imagine for yourself that this right here means, Jesus, I'm going to listen to you, I'm going to obey you, and I'm going to leave everything to follow you. That's what your hands are saying to him, okay? And so I'm going to pray this over you, and I want you guys to pray too, okay? Let's close our eyes and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that you're the great teacher. We thank you that you are not just a man, but that you're the son of God. We thank you that you came. We thank you that you performed miracles, Lord, that you taught us. And Jesus, we thank you that we can be young disciples. We thank you that we can learn from you. We thank you, Lord, that... Uh, that we can learn from your teaching. And so we love your Bible. We love to read the teachings of you. And Lord, we ask that you would speak into our hearts from a young age and teach us as only as you can. Jesus, we, uh, we, we say we want to obey your commands. We don't want to just hear your teaching. We want to do what you say. And so if you tell us that we need to follow you, that we need to go out of the deep and fish some more. We want to say yes. We want to be good young disciples. And so we obey what you say. And Jesus, we leave everything, even the fish, to follow you. And so we thank you for all the blessing in our lives. We thank you for everything that you've provided. We love it, but we say that we leave it all behind so that we can keep following you. You're the most important blessing in our life. We love you. We thank you. We bless your name. We pray this in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. amen, amen. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. One more round of applause for Ken as he makes his exit.
Thank you, not just the praise team, but thank you guys. It is so cool to see you guys singing and doing the hand motions. Mr. Yuri, is Mr. Yuri here? He's put together one of the best praise teams we've ever had, I think. Y'all agree? Yeah. I love, give a big hand to our praise team. You guys rock. You guys are so good. Thank you. I've been looking for content for my lantern. What I was thinking is I might put some of my favorite songs from our chapels on the lantern for next week, and I'll do the hyperlinks. So if your parents see those, y'all can listen to them in the car, or y'all can download them, put them on Spotify. I think it's just, I've been listening to so much of our chapel music lately, and it's just been so cool for me. I, I, I know a lot of us listen to a lot of trash music, so to have these uplifting songs are so positive and good for us. Let's give another big round of applause to Mr. Vadim. Well done. Always a pleasure. Come back anytime. Where'd Ken go? Is Ken still hiding on his boat? Oh. By the way, my favorite ship is the friendship. <laughs> on that note, I'm going to pray and we're going to get out of here. <laughs> you know my favorite mint? Announcement. That's my other bad joke. All right, let's all bow our heads. Dear Lord, I pray that I can come up with better jokes. I ask, Lord, thank you so much for this amazing uh, morning, this great uh, spring season that's uh, on the horizon, a brand new month, so many things to look forward to, Father God. Uh, in the season of Easter, where we celebrate your son Jesus and all the work he did here on earth and the sacrifice that he made to die on the cross to save us from our sins. I pray that we can choose to obey, choose to listen, and to follow your commands and to leave everything behind. Nothing is as important as following you, Father God. And we just thank you for the opportunity at Friendship Christian School where we can spend our time praising and worshiping you and learning and getting smarter and growing. We ask for a great day, and it's all of us said in Jesus' name. Have a good day, everybody.